Are you daily reading your Bible? Some people ask the question, how can a 2,000-year-old book possibly be applicable to 21st century life? But I want to challenge you to be a student of the Word of God. Psalm 119, verse 93 says, I will never forget your words, for through them I found life. And I will tell you, um, as a young Christian, I came to the Lord at 21, and I had only been a Christian a few weeks, and somehow God just gave to me an insatiable desire to read the Bible. And now for 30 years, the Bible has been like a close, daily, dear friend. I believe that there is great power when pastors preach the Word of God. I believe there is incredible result when Christians live and believe and share the Word of God. And you know, there was a book by a man named Thomas Reeves some years ago called The Suicide of Liberal Christianity. And he talks about the fact that um, over the recent decades, as pastors have not really preached the Word of God, maybe not even demonstrated a confidence in the Bible as previous generations did, uh, Reeves says this, that the typical congregant finds it increasingly unnecessary to go to a church where secular views are simply echoed. Uh, the church has succeeded in making itself dispensable, says Reeves. In other words, we've got to give people a message, and that message that they're not going to hear anywhere else, that reality, that rock-solid foundation on which to build our life and trust our eternity, is the Word of God. Now, why do we read the Word of God? Well, we read the Bible to learn about who God is. We read the Bible to learn about salvation. We read the Bible to learn about the human condition, and really the Bible gives a vividly clear picture of human nature like no other book. We read the Bible to learn about things like the future and eschatology and where is history headed, even things like the spiritual realm, angels and demons. We learn about prayer. We learn about ethics and morality. We get comfort. We get direction uh, for life. So the Word of God is an inexhaustible treasure trove of truth on which we can build our lives and trust our eternity. And Jesus himself said, and remember, he's the only one who ever rose from the grave, John 10, verse 35, the Scripture cannot be broken. So be a student of the Word. Be one who shares the Scriptures with others. Because remember, as I said from Psalm 119, 93, uh, we will never forget his words, for through them we found life.